Awesome. Okay, guys. So today, a lot of you, maybe you two, maybe you, and this guy definitely know a couple of the chokes we're gonna do. Okay, so we're, we're all of us. Anyway. But we're gonna worry about just seven different chokes. We're gonna use a couple positions. Okay, now in jiu jitsu um, or street fighting, even in MMA, you know, a choke is kind of the ultimate, the ultimate yeah. weapon. It doesn't matter how hard the guy can take a punch. It doesn't matter how strong he is. If he's on drugs or what. You stop the blood to his brain, he passes out, okay? Six seconds, usually absolute max, okay? Normally it's closer to four. Uh, two types of chokes, real simple. Uh, blood chokes and air chokes, okay? Air chokes are right on the trachea. Blood chokes cut off the carotid arteries, stops the blood to the brain, shuts everything down, okay? So, just starting off, uh, we're gonna work, just work from a standing position, okay? So most altercations are gonna start standing. Um, now. I can either be aggressive and I can snap him down and, and get his head down, or sometimes, you know, just, just during a street fight, an MMA match, or jiu-jitsu match, whatever the scenario may be, Angelo might shoot in and try to take me down or just shoot in yeah, and clinch with me, okay? So that's a very common position to end up with a, a guy's head or a girl's head on your ribs or under your armpit, okay? So uh, let's switch sides. So I'm here, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, maybe I'm punishing, maybe we're wrestling, but Angelo takes a shot. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is what we call a guillotine. All right? Now, if he does this, he's pretty much giving it to me. I'm going to wrap my hand around his neck, and what I want is I want my thumb to line up with the side of his neck so that the blade of my wrist, that little two-inch spot right behind my thumb, is directly on his trachea. Okay? So I wind it around. Now, what I'm going to do here, my hand is here, so I'm going to put my hand on the side of his face, so I can smack him. All right, the reason I do that is so this hand can now grab right across my arm, or my hand, okay? So I basically use my four fingers and I grab my pinky, okay? Now, I make sure that I suck this up nice and tight, way up here into my almost wrist to shoulder, and as I do that, I'm gonna throw this elbow over his back, okay? This does a couple of things. Number one, it tightens the choke up, but it also is going to prevent his main escape, which is to throw his arm over my shoulder. So if I do this and tries to throw his arm up, he's actually going to choke himself even more. Than okay? So here, I, I wind it around. I open, I catch this, and I throw my elbow over. Now to finish, I keep this pressure, and I'm going to rotate my wrist like a gooseneck into his throat. Okay? So my elbow comes in tight. And I finish there, okay? So he goes to the other side, right here. So I'm pulling my elbow in, I'm goosenecking that, and I throw this over, okay? And then we just add a little arch to it. So I'm kind of rolling his face to his chest all at the same time, all right? So like I said, I can catch him off the shot, or maybe we're in here, I snap his head down, hand here, this hand goes here, goes nice and heavy. And then this elbow is going to go over his shoulder. Hips in, and I finish it right there. So everything just kind of, it's kind of like a, I don't know what shape is that. Whatever, it's yeah. that, okay? Kind of here, finish. Cool, easy enough? All right, so sometimes, sometimes what happens here is either, number one, this guy is good at defending the guillotine, or uh, like Brett was doing, I go for the guillotine and what happens is, oh, I got my hand way too far through, okay? Way too far. So, why you got to defend while I'm trying to teach? Okay, so what we're going to do here, this, uh, my, my choke's not going to be as good because I, I can't squeeze my elbow in, I can't create this angle, it's just flat. So, from here, I'm going to let my hand, my choking arm, slide here, okay? So, I slide it up. And now this hand is going to come up and over the top. So basically it's a front naked choke, okay? So I'm too deep, so I slide that hand through, and this one's going to come up right here, almost like on the shoulder, and I just lock it down, okay? Now the way I finish this is I squeeze everything, and we can kind of do like this little loopy type motion with our, with our body, okay? So I'm moving this way, all right? And in an MMA scenario, guys, if I get this, I can push him up against the cage, really hip into it, but he has absolutely no defense, okay? Because he can't go anywhere, he can't move his hips away. All right? This one's killer. I, I've actually I've never seen anybody really get out of a, a tight front naked. So, my hand's too deep, too far through. 
I just snake it through, and this hand comes up. So basically, guys, we're going to grab our bicep. Okay, this hand, just you can lock it down, you can chop it. It doesn't really matter my positioning on this. And then I'm going to squeeze everything. Like I said, I'm just going to do this little looping motion. So I'm basically thinking about putting his ear toward the ground and then touching his face to his chest. Okay, so I'm kind of going here with his head. The first guillotine, I go this way. This time I'm going here. Okay, makes sense? So. You catch it, just let it slip through, so I'm going to pass it to this side, and then this hand comes up and over, so his head is in that little bitty hole there, and then squeeze, and loop it, and arch in, okay? Cool? Awesome. So ultimately, you know, I, in a self-defense scenario, like say MMA fight, uh, jiu-jitsu match, whatever, I prefer to dominate the, the match, okay? I want to take the fight to the ground. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes, you know, maybe this guy's a better wrestler. He is wearing a wrestling t-shirt. So obviously he's going to take me down. Or, yeah, he's got a bigger comp fighter. Or what happens is I get this guillotine and I get a little sloppy with it and he double legs me right off the bat. Ah, boom. So anytime I'm on my back, it's, it's vital. I get my legs between us, okay? So I put him in my guard, all right? Now, right now I'm just going to do a basic closed guard here, okay? So, the two we're going to do from here are just two variations of a triangle. We're going to do one triangle choke with my arms and one with my legs, okay? So, the one with my arms, there's a lot of different ways to set it up. The way we're going to do it today, I'm going to rely on him kind of not being that great, okay? So, he's going to take his arm, he's going to like put it right here in my throat, he's going to stack me, I'm going to yeah, hurt you. Yeah, he's going to try to, uh, he's going to choke me. The thing is, he doesn't have a lot here, okay? Unless I just lay here like a dead fish, he's not really going to choke me, all right? So I'm going to do just a little bit of you know, acting. I'm going to act like it's hurting a little bit. I'm going to, you know, get, make, make some noises to make him keep doing it, okay? And then I do the three Ps. I push, I pop, and I pull, okay? What I mean by that is I'm going to push, push his weight away from me just a little bit, okay? So I don't want to push him all the way out. I just want to relieve just a little tiny bit of pressure off my neck. Okay, now I pop his arm through, and as soon as his elbow passes the plane of my neck, I pull him in with my legs. Okay? So he's choking me here, so I push, I pop, and I pull him back in. Now, this arm is going to go over his shoulder and chop down on the back of his neck. Okay? As it does that, I'm going to go ahead and lock up my grip. I slide my hips out, so just post on the ground, pull your hips out to the side here, okay? Now, that hand is going to snake up, so I grab my bicep, and this hand goes to the back of my head right here, okay? So I want to make sure I'm head to head, and this hand, you can walk it back right here. Now, I just start squeezing, and down, okay? So we'll just start here. So I mean, my guard up. Push, pop, and pull. Flips out. And I squeeze. Okay, so what's happening here is his shoulder cuts off one karate, and my forearm on this side is cutting off the other. And by using my hand here to grab my head, it makes my, my uh, grip a little tighter, so it pulls this arm through his neck a little more. And it makes sure my head is, is nice and tight to his head. Okay? Now one more time with the other arm. So, uh, act a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. Push, pop, and pull him in. Okay? As soon as you pull, get that grip, slip the hips out. Okay? And now I'm going to slide this arm up and get it to the back of my head. And you can even use your fingers to walk it up a little bit. Okay? And if you extra don't like the guy, then we'll squeeze with the legs at the same time. <laughs> okay? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so the next show we're going to do, same position. Um, I actually do this off the guillotine, okay? But uh, so the newer guys, you know, we'll set it up a little differently. Um, so maybe I'm with my guillotine, he takes me down. <laughs> He's not going to pass my guard, but he defends the guillotine, okay? So he starts grabbing my wrist down here, okay? I'm just going to, I'm going to grab his hand, almost like I'm shaking his hand, and push it through. Okay, now I want this leg to come up and chop down. 
Okay? So my position is pretty much just like you do with the arms. This chops down. I triangle that leg up. Now, normally, I don't want his arm back here. So if his arm's on this side, I pick my hips up. I'm going to cross grab and pull this nice and tight. And I pull him back in. Okay? I always like to grab my shin, readjust. So I want to get this knee up as tight to his head as possible. And it's important I keep my shin completely in the bend of that knee. Okay? Now, I just go ahead and go under this leg here. Pull it nice and tight. Now I pull his head, I squeeze my legs, and I pick my hips up. Okay? So squeeze, hips up, pull the head down. Okay? And you also notice there's a little arm bar here. But this is not a uh, arm bar class. Alright? So for you newer guys, all I'm going to have Angelo do is he's taking me down. He does, maybe he's a little familiar with this. He doesn't want to be here. He'll reach under my leg. He's, gonna, he's just going to try to throw my leg over. Okay? This is real common, even with guys that don't know what they're doing. Okay? But especially with guys that don't know what they're doing, when he goes under my leg, I've got, I've got the triangle. Okay? So I put my foot in his hip. I pinch that arm. And I make sure I shoot my, excuse me, I pinch my leg in. I shoot my hips up super high. And I'm going to clamp down on his neck. Okay? So as I'm clamping, shoot that hip up. Clamp and I cut my angle. So you notice I've got 90 degrees right here. Now, just bring that knee in, lock it down, same thing, we pull that arm across. You can go under the leg if you want, or you can just pull his head, squeeze, hips up, and ultimately I cut the angle all the way under his leg. He'll never get out of that. Okay? Never. 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 Alright? Never ever, never. Uh, one more. Hook here. He goes under. Hips up. Okay, hips up. Cut my angle. Lock that up. Pull the head down. Push my hips up again. And I'm squeezing my legs together. Okay? Everyone wants to see Angela go unconscious, right? No. <laughs> no, sir. One, two, three, four. I was ready. I was ready. I've never been out. Never been out. I shouldn't have said that. I've been out many times, actually. <laughs> the last set, things didn't go so great for us. I got taken down. So I put him in an arm triangle. Technically, I could have finished that guillotine, or I put him in a triangle with my legs. But let's say things do go my way, okay? The ultimate you know, goal of Jiu Jitsu is take the fight to the ground. Dominate the position where I can effectively attack without being attacked and end the fight. Okay, chokehold, arm lock, leg lock. So today we're focusing on chokeholds. Um, so let's say I'm the other guy. Maybe, maybe we even started with this guillotine. Oh, and I'm going for it. He's posturing his head up. Whoop. Bang, I take him down. <laughs> Lops way far away from me. <laughs> and I, I land in side control. Okay? So from side control, um, a couple of things are going to happen. First off, Let's say I get, I get my position I want, okay? So hand under the head, hand under this far arm, okay? I'm gonna take a nice tight gable grip. Now, he might do the same thing. He might, you know, kind of drive on my, on my throat here. So if we just kind of reverse the angle here, this is almost the same as, as me being in guard, okay? So he's pushing on my throat. So I'm gonna give him some pressure, and then I'm going to let off the pressure, okay? So that's kind of like I, I pushed with my legs, right? So I give him pressure, I let off the pressure, I pop the arm through just like we did before, and then instead of pulling him in, I'm going to duck my head, okay? So as I pop his arm through, oh, I dive this shoulder nice and deep into his armpit, and I shoot my head around real fast, okay? Now, the way I'm going to finish this is I'm going to take my north, northern leg here, the one nearest his head, and shoot it across first, okay? So I bring it all the way over, and now as it's getting ready to hit the ground, my other leg is gonna step over, okay? And the reason I bring that one over first is because if I just try to step and Angelo catches me with his legs, <laughs> it's very good, I'm choking him, so it's delayed. So now he stopped my choke, okay? He stopped my position. So if I bring this leg over first, okay? And now he tries to catch my leg, this leg blocks his legs. Okay, so my right leg blocks his legs from catching my left. So here, okay? Now, I'm just gonna keep my head tight, keep that shoulder low. I'm gonna sprawl, 
and I'm going to walk toward the top. All right, now from here, I just squeeze and pretty much finish, okay? If you guys need to, you can take your head over, almost like you're going to put your chin in his eye socket. Okay, but please don't do that. Just use your head your chin to kind of just push his arm across. And then I squeeze. Okay? So from this side, same thing. I'm in side control. I'm in a good dominant position. Now I'm in a you know, self-defense scenario, an MMA fight. I can elbow. I can knee. I can drop elbows here. I can punch. I can do all kinds of stuff. He's going to push up. That's not pressure in. I let go of the pressure. I push his arm through. I drop my shoulder and get my head down there nice and tight. My northern leg shoots across and then my southern leg, okay? Sprawl out so I'm on my toes, my hips are low. And I can finish this right here. Or we can just take our head and turn it. So what I'm doing with that is I'm using my head and I'm using my chin to push his arm across, okay? Right here. Like I'm going to stick my chin in his eye socket. And if my life depends on it, I'm going to stick my chin in his eye socket. Mm -hmm. All right? So same position, guys, from side control. So let's say this guy's got a little more experience, or maybe, you know, I'm, I'm going to pass, and he shoots an underhook. All right, so yeah, hit. what this means is his far arm goes under my armpit, okay? This is a great position for the bottom guy, because now he can swim, he can get up, he can start, yeah, he can start taking my back, okay? <laughs> so 99.9% .9 of the time, if the guy on the bottom has any experience, as I'm getting into side control, boom, he gets that underhook. Okay, and it's usually a little easier, a little quicker for the bottom guy to do that, all right? Excuse me, so as the top guy, if I can't, if I can't re-swim and get my underhook, I have to take what we call an overhook or a wizard, okay? So my arm goes over his arm. Now, in this case, guys, I'm gonna shoot this arm not only over his arm, but I go all the way under his head here, okay? As I'm doing this, my other hand is going to pull his head in. So I pull his head with this hand, and I shoot this hand that way. Okay, now, I curl this in, catch his head. I'm going to bring this hand way out, and I use my tricep to smash his head in. Okay, so it's real important, just like with my guillotine chokes at front naked, to keep his head this way. Okay, if I let his head come back, he's able to defend. So here, Boom. Now, grab my bicep. Same thing. We're doing an arm triangle. This hand comes way up high. Now what I want to do is I'm going to sprawl, and I want to get his hand off of this side of my body. So I sprawl my legs, and I dip my hip toward his head, and as soon as I dip my head, or my hips, I sit back the other way. And I'm going to catch a leg. Okay? Just lock a leg up, and then I squeeze and finish. Okay? So from this side, he shoots his underhook. Uh, I take my overhook. So I go, try to create some space here, guys. I go over his arm and under his head. Okay? Now, I pull his head in. I trap it. I grab my bicep here. Lock this up. If his arm is still out here, I dip my hips toward his head. Okay? Passes that arm under. And then sit toward his legs, okay? And trap a leg. Right now, guys, I don't care which leg you trap. Okay, just get a leg. Sit heavy. Give him a nice squeeze and finish. Alright? Oh, he goes there. Boom! Pull. Pull his head. Push that arm. Lock it up. Dip. Sit in. Catch a leg. And squeeze. Okay? So again, take down, dominate, destroy, right? So I took him down, dominated the position. Well, first, first dominant position, side control. Great position for me to attack from. Very poor position for him to try to attack from. So a lot of guys, trained and untrained, will oftentimes turn their back. Okay. So all he's going to do here, he's going to try to roll. Yeah, he's going to skip his arm, roll out. So me, as the as the other guy, I I'm going to take advantage of this. Anytime he turns turns his back to me, I can you know I'm going to get a, a rear mount. Uh, so right now he's just going to go to his knees, slip my far leg or my near leg, get my far leg in, okay? And a lot of you guys don't really need to worry about this uh, as far as getting in position. I just want to show you the choke. 
Okay, my position here uh, is what we call rear mount, and then I've got my hooks in. Okay, so the way I would finish this with him being turtled is I'd flare this wrist out, I'd kick my hips in, and kick my legs out, and make him like a Superman or a frog or something, okay? So, he rolls over so we can see this. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> So I'm here, right? Hooks in, I'm on his back. Pretty much nothing he can do to me from here. Okay, I can do whatever I want. Pulls his ears, gouges his eyes, punch him. Okay, all kinds of bad things. We're gonna finish with a rear naked choke, which is one of the more powerful chokes. My arm that's over his shoulder is gonna shoot up and try to touch my shoulder blade. Okay? What I'm looking at is having this elbow center line on him. Okay? So my bicep. It's cutting off this carotid artery. My forearm is cutting off this one, okay? A lot of times you'll get a strike too, but ultimately it's a carotid choke. This hand, now, I want my elbow to come in, and this hand is gonna chop down behind his head, palm toward me, okay? Like here. Now, I drop my head down on top of that arm. Number one, so he can't punch me or eye gouge me or anything. And number two, Angel's way out of this is to pull this hand off, and then this hand, okay? You're not out there. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, good. So, this arm here secures this one. And then my head drops down to secure that one, okay? I'm going to leave my head up just so I can talk a little better. I do four things to finish this. Number one, breathe, okay? Don't hold your breath, don't strain, don't do anything where you're just breathe. Number two, and most important, I squeeze everything, okay? And that does about 80% of it, or 70 or 75 or Depending on the day, I don't remember I said, but well, the majority. All right? Felt like 80. Yeah. We'll go baby. Third thing, I'm going to take this elbow, my non choking elbow, and I'm going to pull it almost like I'm pulling it behind his shoulder, okay? But what you'll notice, I'm not twisting his head. I'm actually just pulling my arms through his neck, okay? And this is where you get a lot of the, the trachea portion from. Okay, so I breathe, I squeeze, I pull the arms through, and lastly, I'm going to crunch. So I kind of use my body to do a crunch. I'm going to use this elbow to smash down and the hand behind his head to push down. So again, I'm making his head go toward his chest, okay? So here, so I breathe, I squeeze, I pull the elbow back, I drive his head forward, and he taps, okay? And the beauty of this rear mount position is if Angelo goes to roll, he tries to move, he tries to get out, it doesn't really matter where we are. He's belly down, belly up, belly sideways, and he's completely standing up. My position's, yeah, he's gonna stand up. <laughs> My position's the exact same, okay? And I can finish him from anywhere. All right? So, so if you guys want to work getting to the back, more advanced guys, good. Uh, if not, we'll just start here. Hooks in. Start with your seatbelt grip. So one hand under, one hand over. My arm that's over goes to my shoulder. This hand comes in. Okay, so get my elbow all the way here, okay? You want to just shoot it in that way, it's perfect. Head down, I breathe, I squeeze, I pull, and I crunch. All right? Easy enough? Sir. Just in review, guys. Um, you know, jiu-jitsu, again, take the fights on the ground, and dominate the position where it can effectively attack without being attacked, and today we focus that attack on primarily on chokes, um, which results in unconsciousness in two to six seconds, right? So we talked about also, if I, if I end up being the guy on bottom, it's, it's absolutely vital I get my legs in twins. I put them in my guard. That way I'm able to attack with not only chokes, but also arm locks and leg locks. I can sweep and come out on top and better my position. All right, so just in review, Angelo shoots on me, tries to take me down, boom! I lock up my guillotine, number one. Number two, front naked. If he's able to take me down, boom! He tries to drive his forearm in my throat. I finish with the arm triangle. He tries to pass under. I lock up the, the regular triangle. Okay, maybe uh, maybe I swept him. Bloop. Come out on side control. He's driving. Push down. Pass the leg across. And we all know Angelo goes unconscious. Okay, he pops out of that. He shoots his underhook. Oh, so I catch him in the Bravo. Sit through. Finish from here, maybe from here. I get his back. I lock up the rear naked choke and finish him there.
Okay? Mm -hmm. So real quick, nice simple series of chokes. Boom, 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 boom. Seven of them you can apply on any human being alive and they will go unconscious. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, he's out.